Rabbits were first introduced into the Australian ecosystem in 1859. They were brought over as part of the European settlement by a man named Thomas Austin. Although rabbits look cute and innocent, they cause many problems to our ecosystem. They reproduce at extremely high rates all season long. Why is this such a bad thing, you might ask? Here's why. They vandalize the environment in many different ways. They build burrows and disrupt ecosystems in negative ways. They destroy crops and cause soil erosion. Rabbits are extremely selfish and will strip back paddocks section by section. They are selective and will select the most nutritious plants to eat first, meaning the other animals in the ecosystem have to suffer. It is estimated that 7 to 10 rabbits can eat the equivalent of one sheep. Therefore, if they find their way into farm paddocks, they become a major problem. Still the food source allocated to the livestock, which leads to poor health and possible death. It's not only bad for the animals, but also for the farmers and income. Therefore, we need to find a way to stop the rabbits from spreading around. Here are the options at hand. Rabbit-proof fencing is one option. This is the easiest and kindest way to keep rabbits away. It involves protecting areas of high-value crops by building a fence to block the rabbits intruding and damaging the crops. It allows farmers to have peace of mind that their products are being protected not only during the day, but also at night when they're not around. It also blocks their livestock from having to be in direct competition from intruder rabbits for their food source. <laughs> As mentioned earlier, this method may disappoint the rabbits, but also allows them to live on. Rabbit trapping devices can be used to remove rabbits. There are negatives when using traps as they only work in areas with low rabbit population density. Although this method allows more human control, it also captures unnecessary untargeted species, causing suffering and in some cases death depending on how long they're trapped for. Trapping can allow human investigation, tracking installation or rehoming the rabbits into a different habitat. Poisoning is the most effective method of rabbit reduction during non-breeding season, which is usually mid to late summer. Two types of poisons normally used are Pindone and Poison 1080. Pindone is a lethal poison that can kill all animals, including humans, pets and other wildlife in all surrounding areas. Regular shooting can maintain low levels of rabbit numbers on small properties. Shooting is essentially useless in medium to high density population areas. Other methods that are less used include instant kill traps, fumigation, and euthanasia. The rabbit invasion has been all negative for Australia. They vandalise the environment and are another competitor for the ecosystem to supply for. They are hard to eradicate as they build resistance to poison baits, cost effective baits are hard to come by, and some effective methods are being blocked by the Animal Ethics Committee. I personally recommend installing tracking systems in a sample rabbit population for each area that we study. This will allow us to learn their general behaviour and dispersion techniques. And therefore be better equipped to formulate a successful plan to target and exterminate the species altogether.